Okay, down here in uh, St. Augustine, this is Flagler College. I want to show you this right here. So that's absolutely, look at the architecture on that. And then over here is the Leitner Museum, which we're going to go into. And that massive building right there, um, they say the restaurant is inside of an old swimming pool. So we're going to go over there in just a little while. But look at the colors on that. Look at the architecture there. And then look over here at that. The colors are almost the same, and it's really cool how they did that. So look at those windows over there under the under the thing. So this is actually pretty cool. So we're going to go inside here in a little while. So the, the, the Leitner Museum. And look at this architecture here. And there's a lot of stuff inside here. We're going to be doing some filming later. And it's rumored to be haunted. I mean, look at that architecture there. And then we just did a walkthrough hey. of the Casa Monica right here. We did a walk through there, and that's rumored to be haunted. And then, uh, hey, I see you, old man. <laughs> that's my friend Bo acting crazy. <laughs> and here is the Flagler, Flagler College. Look at this, man. This is nuts. Look at that detail. So just to show you, um, th this is all. I mean, this is if there's not if there's if that place isn't haunted there. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. But we're gonna go inside this beast right here in just a little while, do some filming. So uh, we'll see in a little bit. Walking through. I don't know if that's the restaurant there or not. Yeah, and this is the inside of the museum here. Look at this. This is freaking nuts right here. This is the, the entrance. Good picture right here too. Yeah, and if you look right here, this was all underwater right here. This is the restaurant. The Alcanese restaurant. And if you look up here, this is where the uh, water would actually be in here. It's pretty cool. And uh, this is all flooded with water. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you. I got a picture of it right here of what it looked like. So, so here it is. This is what it looked like. All this was underwater. I mean, how cool is that? You can just kind of sit up there and, uh, <laughs> and swim. And these, these chambers were flooded with water right here. So that's pretty awesome, and I'll show you. We'll walk back over here again. Here's another. This is just a painting here, it looks like. But uh, this is the uh, another another shot here. So water, water would be uh, water would be flooded in here. So this is actually pretty, pretty, really, really cool. Right here, uh, 1890 peasant couple back to back there, and uh, there's some more up here. And this is, I'm not even sure. Who, let's see who this is right here. Let's see, Charles is the fifth emperor of Germany, king of Spain. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, there's a there's another okay. shot. He's just watching a dance. <laughs> I know. Pretty amazing right here. The swimming pool. It was the world's largest indoor swimming pool. 120 feet long and 50 feet wide. And uh, this is pretty amazing. And uh, what's really amazing is this old safe right here. Um, looks like something out of the Orient, maybe. Yeah. And uh, it came from the hotel. It says Hotel C something. And then it comes out over here. C O R D O something, but it looks like a safe or something. Yeah, you put cash up there. There's the there's the vault. There's the thing there. This is an absolute work of work of art because it's wood. You can see the wood little wood dowel right there. It's a wood or metal maybe. And then you look look at the design on this man. This is freaking nuts. This is definitely a safe of some sort. Cordova maybe. Yeah, it maybe could be Cordova. Cordova. Yeah, unless it came from somewhere else. And it's got it had wheels on them at one point. Looks like they're. Well, I see an EA down here. You see here. And this is a C O R D A. Yep. Oh, yes. And that's what it was. Hotel Cordova. And then over here, we were just talking to a lady. I guess she works here. <coughs> Excuse me. This was an old bowling alley right here, which would be right through those doors. How cool is that? 
behind our museum here. We're just, uh, we're right on the outside. Um, this is just like a little walkthrough here. And um, this is really, really amazing uh, art here. Wow. So uh, we canceled lunch because um, of the parking and uh, we got to get back around uh, one to our, to our, uh, look at this thing here, to our car. Looks like little snakes here. Look at this. Really cool. Dragonflies. Oh, duh. Snakes. I haven't had a beer or nothing. Look at that. Look like snake eyes. Yeah, dragonflies. Good eye there, Bo. Okay, we're on the first level now. And uh, this is really, really amazing here. And I'm going to do just a little bit of uh, filming. You can see Egyptian stuff here. stuff amazing and uh, this museum was recommended to us and um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of filming because I kind of want to see some of this stuff but just to give you an idea um, give you an idea of what the, what this is here this is an, this is amazing and this is like what we saw over at the pool right here so this is this is amazing Looks like blown glass. 1850. And uh, some more stuff here. Steamboat. Steamboat packet. So, so this is the first floor. We're going to continue walking around. room here they say that this is an Egyptian mummy with burial mask so that's pretty wow that's that's really really kind of cool so. Nineteenth century, drugs and cherubs. <clears throat> Here's a uh, late nineteenth century pottery, Gotha factory. Really cool. More stuff here. That's really cool looking. So we're on the second level right now. And uh, look at these stairs that go up, how cool that is. And this beautiful, beautiful clock right here. Look at that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, where that was. Can you imagine? 19th century. Some stuff here, and this is where we just were from the. Uh, this is where we were. That had the swimming pool. We were just over there. So look at that one too. This is beautiful right here too. Look at the, look at the faces on that. This is probably. I don't see a. I don't see anything on it, but uh, um, the vase. The man, the, bookcase 19th century walnut panels so and look at the detail i mean look at the look at that i mean that's really really cool so yeah 19th century german porcelain i mean dude you couldn't even transport this thing i don't i don't, I don't even know how you would even ship i mean if it came to the museum it'd have to go in a special uh some kind of a um man that's nuts This right here, it says uh, the clock's decoration. This is the Empire Style Clock. It says uh, almost a literal translation of the passage of the metamorphosis of which Ovid rec recounts uh, Bethion's unfortunate adventure. 
who discouraged the young man from his mad plan to drive the chariot of the sun. Zeus, Jupiter, had explained to him that he would meet only the wild beast of the zodiac. And it says that uh, Thomor, I guess is the person's name, created many versions of this, the artist. And the most famous example was bought by George VI in 1810 and used it in the state dining room at Buckingham Palace. This artist reached the pinnacle of his career when he designed and cast the bronze coffin of Napoleon Bonaparte. Pretty, pretty amazing. This is just gives you cold chills right here. So this is we uh, were talking about here. This was this um, what would be the steam room or the bathhouse here, and uh, the Russian bath. And what uh, they were telling us over at the uh, shipwreck museum is a lot of deals went down here, a lot of heavy, uh, um, big money transactions with the Russians. And um, and if, if these walls can talk, I'm telling you. And uh, some of the windows. I mean, look at this. This is this is amazing. There's part of the hotel right there too. So amazing uh, glass items and things like that. There's even even more in there too. And uh, I'll show you this real quick. This is amazing. I mean, this is I can't even imagine what this stuff here. Um, wow. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. So it looks like Louis the 18th, the last of the Sun Kings of France. The painting is thought to be one of the last paintings of Antoine Francis of Calais. The portrait was exhibited in Paris in 1817 and disappeared from view. It resurfaced in the United States when it was purchased by Mary Frick Jacobs. Wow. Oh man, look at this. That looks like a North Face. That is crazy, look at that. Wow. The thing right here, look at the, the claw feet. Little chair, chair of angels right there. And look at this. Now what would be really cool about this thing right here is you put the candles in it. And how cool would that be to have this in some kind of a really old place? And look at the detail on this. This is absolutely amazing. And uh, you put the candles in there in an in a old hotel or a, a thing, and uh, looks like 1870. Wow, masterpiece, absolutely beautiful. And here's a painting here, um, made listening at the door uh, in 1922. Beautiful, look at the frame on that. This one's called Winged Victory. Um, Jules Leon Drone, uh, 1824 to 1904. And look at the detail on that. So, wow. Beautiful. Look at that house right here. 1840, carved wood. Wow. And look at these guys right here. Look at this. Dragon, and look at how the shelves. This is the shelf supports her, and this is dragons here too. This is just absolutely unbelievable. This is uh, 1890 right here, and I'm gonna show you some of the detail on this. Absolutely beautiful. Here's another look around. Um, just absolutely. This uh, this was this was uh, recommended for from the shipwreck museum. I think her name was Terry. She said, you've got to see this place. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This piece right here. Wayne Griffins. This is absolutely amazing. All the faces and stuff. This is, um, you just don't see stuff like this anymore. It's not made anymore. This is 1870 uh, Italian Baroque style wine cabinet. So this was a wine cabinet. Look at this. You just, you just don't see nothing like this anymore. So, yeah, this is really cool. Really cool. Monumental incense burner. Look at that. Here's another look around. This magnificent place. Absolutely beautiful. Some things over here, too. 
just keeps going on, man. This is awesome. Look at that. And uh, let's see what this is here. Um, fireplace. This is a... doesn't say what this is, but this is a fireplace... Um, Ch Chinette? How do you say that? Um, cast iron. French. This thing. This is a piano, I'm sure. Oh yeah, they even got the got the keys all off. I'm really surprised they don't have this thing barricaded off right here. Um, Renaissance Revival Grand Piano, 1873, uh, inlaid wood. The famous Italian coloratura soprano Emilio Galli. Kiersey, 1889 to 19, owned this piano, which eventually sold at auction. So I'm going to take a picture of that and try to uh, try to um, find out, take a picture and put her. Wow, that's amazing. Good Lord. Here's another another look around here. This is Sean with El Costa Beyond. We're at the Leitner Museum. Um, we just got done filming. The place is absolutely amazing. If you get a chance, go see it. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff in there, a lot of crazy furniture and stuff from all over the world. And I'm pretty sure it's haunted. So, but uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. Take care.